She should spend about 20 minutes on questions 1 to 13, which are based on reading passage 1 below. Dead Sea Scrolls The Dead Sea Scrolls in 1946 or early 1947, three Bedouin teenagers were tending to their goats and sheep near the ancient settlement of Qumran, located on the northwest shore of the Dead Sea in what is now known as the West Bank. One of these young shepherds tossed a rock into an opening on the side of a cliff and was surprised to hear a shattering sound. He and his companions later entered the cave and stumbled across a collection of large clay jars, seven of which contained scrolls with writing on them. The teenagers took the seven scrolls to a nearby town where they were sold for a small sum to a local antiquities dealer. Word of the find spread at Bedouins and archaeologists eventually unearthed tens of thousands of additional scroll, scroll fragments from ten nearby caves. Together they make up between 800 and 900 manuscripts. It soon became clear that this was one of the greatest archaeological discoveries ever made. The origin of the Dead Sea Scrolls, which were written around 2000 years ago, between 150 BCE and 70 CE, is still the subject of scholarly debate. Even today, According to the prevailing theory, uh, they are the work of a population that inhabited this area until Roman troops destroyed the settlement around 70 CE. The area was known as Judy at uh, that time, and the people were thought to have belonged to a group called the Essenes, uh, a devout Jewish sect. The majority of the texts on the Dead Sea Scrolls are in Hebrew, with some fragments written in an ancient version of its um, alphabet, uh, thought to have fallen out of use in the 5th century BCE. But uh, there are other languages as well. Some scrolls are in Ar Aramaic, and the language spoken by many inhabitants of the region, uh, from the 6th century BCE until the Siege of Jerusalem in 70 CE. In addition, several texts feature uh, translations of the Hebrew Bible into Greek. The Dead Sea Scrolls include fragments from every book of the Old Testament of the Bible except for the book of Esther, the only entire book of the Hebrew Bible preserved among the manuscripts from Qumran is Isaiah. Uh, this copy, dated to the, to, to the first century BCE, is considered the earliest biblical manuscript still in, in existence. Along with biblical texts, the scrolls include uh, documents about sectarian regulations and religious writings uh, that do not appear in the Old Testament. The writing on the Dead Sea Scrolls is mostly in black or occasionally red ink, and the scrolls uh, themselves are nearly all made of either parchment, animal skin, or an early early form of paper called papyrus. The only exception is the scroll number 3Q15, uh, which has created out of the combination of copper and tin. 
Known as the Copper Scroll, this curious document features letters chiseled on metal, uh, perhaps as some have theorized to better withstand the passage of time. One of the most intriguing manuscripts from Qumran, this is a sort of ancient treasure map that lists dozens of gold and silver catches. Using an unconventional vocabulary and old spelling, it uh, describes the 64 underground hiding places that supposedly contain riches buried from safekeeping buried for safekeeping. None of these uh, hoards have been recovered, possibly because the Romans pillaged Judah um, during the 1st century CE. According to various hypotheses, the treasure belonged to local people or was rescued from the Second Temple before its destruction or never existed to begin with. Some of the Dead Sea Scrolls have, have been on interesting turnings. In 1948, a Syrian Orthodox Archbishop uh, known as Mar Samuel acquired four of the original seven scrolls from a uh, Jerusalem shoemaker and part-time uh, uh, part antiquity dealer, paying less than $100 for them. He then traveled into the United States and unsuccessfully offered them to a number of universities, including Yale. Finally, in 1954, he placed an advertisement in the business newspaper, the Wall Street Journal, under the category Miscellaneous Items for Sale, that read, Biblical manuscripts dating back uh, to at least 200 BC are uh, for sale. This would be an ideal gift to an educational or religious institution by an individual or group. Uh, fortunately, Israeli archaeologist and statesman Shigail Yadin negotiated to their purchase and brought the scrolls back to Jerusalem, where they remain to this day. In 2017, researchers from the University of Haifa restored and deciphered one of the last un untranslated scrolls. The university's Eshwell Ratson and Jonathan Ben Doe spent one year uh, reassembling the 60 fragments that make up the scroll. Uh, deciphered from a band of coded text to a non parchment. Uh, the find provides insight into the community of people who wrote it and the 364 day calendar they uh, would have used. The scroll names celebrations uh, that indicate shifts in seasons and details uh, two yearly religious events known for known from another Dead Sea Scroll, only one more known scroll remains untranslated. Questions 1 to 5, complete the notes below, choose one word only from the passage for each answer. Write your answers in boxes 1 to 5 on your answer sheet. The Dead Sea Scroll Discovery, Qumran 1946 to 1947, and three uh, Bedouin shepherds in their teens of near an uh, opening on side of cliff uh, heard a noise of a breaking when a one teenager threw a rock. 
teenagers went into the cave and found a number of containers made of clay. Scrolls date from between 150 BCE and 70 CE are thought to have been written by a group of people known as the Essenes, uh, written mainly in the Hebrew language. Uh, most are on religious topics, uh, written uh, using ink on parchment or papyrus. Uh, do the following statements agree? Question 6 to 13. Do the following statements agree with the information given in reading passage 1 in boxes 6 to 13 on your answer sheet? Try true if the statement agrees so with the information. False if the statement con contradicts the information. Not given if there is no information on this. The Badwan teenagers who found the scrolls were disappointed by how little money and they received from them for them, not given. Uh, there is agreement among academies about the origin of the Dead Sea Scrolls. False. Most of the books of the Bible written on the scrolls are incomplete. True. The information on the copper scroll is written in an unusual way. True. Mar Samuel was given some of the scrolls as a gift. False. In the early 1950s, the number of educational establishments in the U.S. were keen to buy scrolls from Mar Samuel. False. The scroll ha that has um, pieced together that was pieced together in 2017 contains information about annual locations in the Qumran area 2000 years ago. True. Academics at the University of Haifa are um, currently researching how to decipher the final scroll. Not given. <laughs>